Today's episode from Faith Art Design Studio will be playing with envelopes. We are going to make some more fun envelope ephemera. I want to start by praying for everyone, pray us in, and ask God to be with us as we make these faith art pieces. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And this was said by St. Paul in a variety of books in the New Testament, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. And this was his greeting in each of those because they were letters to those different cities. So let's get started today. I've made a prototype to show you. And this is from a standard legal envelope that's closed up. So you can use a new one, like get a pack from Dollar Tree or use one that's junk mail and it's a closed envelope. So it's already glued down. And once we fold, then I'm gonna manipulate and you're going to see this is what we're going to make. So it's going to be a flip up with a very large pocket where you can put a tag, you could put a little note, a bunch of note pages in there if you wanted to for somebody to journal and it fits. Yeah, we'll go right back in there. And I didn't cover the back because I envision this going right, being glued right into my junk journal. So this is our prototype. This is my uh, design kit, my papers from a couple, actually a couple of my digital designs on my Etsy shop. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make this one today. One more time and we'll do it correct this time. Okay, I only wanna put the glue on the, the envelope top so that it's glued to there, not glued inside here, which is what I did wrong. So we'll start that again. Okay, back to the bottom, five inches. So this is a standard legal envelope. So we'll make our line across there. We'll make it easy to make it straight. Let's see, I'll put it right there so I can make it straight. There we go. So we've got our five inch mark again. Okay. Take your scissors and cut in literally like an eighth. You're just basically cutting to release that is all you're doing. Now we're gonna go back and we're going to trim this. This time it should open when I do that. Let's see, yes it does now. <laughs> Since Diane did it the wrong way the first time. Then we're gonna trim this piece also. Right down to the five inch line. Okay, now what should have happened? Here's what happens now. So you see how you have this opening? So what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're gonna cut that to release it. And you're just cutting between the two pieces. You're not cutting the whole thing in half. So now you have a piece like that, right? So now what we're going to do is we are going to fold this over and you can make this as long or as short as you want. So what you can see is when I folded this one over, we're about the same exact spot. It was about right there. So you have maybe half an inch and this is all personal preference. There's no perfect way to do this in any way, shape or form. This is all about what you wanna do. So we're gonna do that. I'm going to go ahead and fold it, put the crease, the new crease in. Okay, and now this needs to be, yes, this needs to be glued together, even though I'm going to, going to be, we're going to be covering the whole envelope. So you just want your parts to be glued together correctly. So let's put a little bit more glue on there. Okay, there we go. So that's it. And what then happens is here's where you have your um, pocket, right? So we've created the pocket with our envelope and it opens like that. Now I would use my circle punch to create, you know, the keyhole, but I won't do that until I've covered the paper. So I covered the whole envelope because that way you get a nice crisp cut. So I've picked out a kit. Well, I picked up pages from one of my kits that I feel like I would like to make. So here's some tags for the inside. 
Here's some other little pieces that I picked. And I, okay, I love, I really love this gorgeous flower. I just think that would be so pretty on there. It's kind of a yellowy color, but wouldn't that just be gorgeous on there? And I've got some other little pieces. I've got this, but I don't think there's enough interest. So maybe we'll cut some of the parts of that. And then I've got that piece picked out. So let's try this. And what I'm going to do is open it up and then I'm going to figure out where exactly that I want it on there to the fold. So I have to trim this out anyway because I didn't trim it yet. Let's trim that down. So as we're using it, it will be in the right spot. I hope everybody is having a good day. Thank you all for um, following my YouTube channel, for following me on Instagram. Everything's kind of, I'm getting so many new people this week, and it's really exciting for me because I feel like this is um, a ministry. This is my ministry of sharing faith with you for all my junk journaler ladies who love to make junk. Oh, I think that's pretty. I like that. So here's how Diane does it. Diane's going to um, instead of cutting a piece, because I watched one person who measured everything, and I don't feel like measuring, I am just going to do my glue. I'm going to put my glue on here, get it all nice and glued up, put the paper on, and then I'm going to trim it. That's the way I do stuff. I don't like measuring, because invariably when I measure and then I go to put it together, it wasn't correct, and then it's off. <laughs> so since I have to trim it anyway... That's the way I, Diane's going to do it. So I know I want that about right there. So it's right to the fold. Let me get my head out of the camera. I said there's quite a few ladies that I follow on YouTube that are making things like this. Um, if you don't follow Kathy's Garden, please follow her. I love her. She posts videos every single day of making ephemera for your, uh, for your junk journals. And she's so good. So she gives me a lot of ideas that I can make stuff. And she's just got a sweet heart and a sweet personality. Okay, so see how for me this is so much easier. Now I'm just going to trim this. And we'll trim that way. And we will have our cover. So it's pretty quick. And once you start making one, you're going to be like me and go, Oh, I want to make another one. Oh, I want to make another one of this color. <laughs> so... Oh, that's so pretty. See, and it lines up pretty easily, so I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's open it and now decide what we're going to have here. And if we look back at my prototype, I used two different papers, which I think I'm going to do the exact same thing on this one. So let's see, of the two papers that I have. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like this one. Let's see, that looks really pretty with that. Okay, so you're going to have one piece of paper that comes all the way down to um, where your pocket is, and then you're going to have another piece that you're covering the pocket. So since this is a nice tall piece, I think I'm going to choose this one for the top. Let me move some of my stuff out of the way. Yes, I think that works. Oh, I like that. Yes. Okay, same back to the same thing. I just put... Oh, that's the wrong one. I got it. I trimmed. Well, it got caught in a corner of paper and <laughs> started to pull apart. Okay, let's come down to here. So we are going to put glue. Now, you could collage this a lot more than I'm doing because I'm just using big pieces. But the way I'm doing it, my pieces of paper are already collaged. They've, in the sense of they've got lots of interest of things on them. So that's more my style to do that. And of course, these are all papers from my digital collection. So feel free to use scrapbook paper. Feel free to use book paper. Feel free to use whatever paper works for you. Get back to my phone folder. Okay, that worked well. And now we'll trim this again. Of course, my envelope being from Dollar Tree, it's not real strong. So when you add all these papers, it actually works out really well because it gives it some strength. Okay, and then I'm going to trim that way. Let's see if I can do that on camera. 
Oh, you know what I want to do? Wait a second. I'm doing this wrong. Okay. I remembered this afterwards. Okay, so let's trim that all the way down. To be honest, what I want to do is I want to tuck part of this into my pocket because if I don't, then what happens is you're going to see this black and white, which is not really what I want to see. So the first one that I made, I used um, another piece of paper and just kind of stuck it in there. But why not use the paper that I already have? Now, to get that to work, I am going to go ahead and trim the sides of it so I can get it into the pocket. And I'm literally just trimming like a breath off of the sides. And we'll see if that will be enough. Of course, I already glued some of that down. Let's see. Is that going to be enough, Diane, to go into there without ripping everything apart? <laughs> Looks like I can always glue it back together. Okay, this is too long, Diane. You don't need that much. Of course, this is real life when you're on camera. <laughs> I can sit here by myself and make things and everything goes together perfectly. But when you're on camera, there we go. Okay, I made it work, I made it work. And even though that ripped a little bit, it won't matter. Okay, see that's much better, I think. That way I don't have to worry about when you open this pocket that you're not, that you're gonna see this paper. So I think that works well. Okay, now the thing with putting, using glue sticks is it's still kind of damp. Let's see if we can, I am going to try and hook that together a little bit. Okay. And so um, when you go to make a fold, it's still damp and you have to be careful because it might pull your paper. But when you're on camera, you just have to work with what you got. So let's go back and find our fold, which is right there. I'm gonna line this back up. Oops. See, I just folded it on the wrong spot. Okay. There we go. Let's make sure I got it straight. No, of course I don't have it straight. Let me line it up that way. Let me line it up that way. In fact, I think I went a little bit too far with my paper. So let's try that. Let's redo that. There we go. There, that's much better. Now I think it's nice and folded. Yes, that's much better. So what I was saying to you is, um, I've seen some um, crafters put whole little pieces of collage, which would be great, but you see my, my paper has stuff already collaged on it. Okay, so we've got that. Yay, two parts are done. And now we need to cover this. And where's my stack? Right here. I don't want to use the same because that would be kind of boring. So let's see if we could, oh, let's pick this piece. That might be pretty. Look with the music along the bottom. Yes. Okay. Yes, I think that looks very good. Okay. Let me trim the paper. I put a new kit in my shop this morning, well, actually late last night, that you're gonna love. I'm gonna show you on the next one we're gonna make. I ended up um, creating these gorgeous blue collage backgrounds and added some Christian symbols, pictures. Actually, I found all these watercolors that I'm using. They're just gorgeous. And watercolors of Jesus, Mary, um, angels, stuff like that. And they're just so beautiful. Wait, you see, you'll see the kit in a couple minutes when we get to the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my way of doing it, which is, do I like that piece or do we like a little bit of blue? Let's see, this has a little bit more interest. I think I like this side because it's just got the music. I like the way it's going to look that way. So let's do that side. So we are going to glue, put our glue down, our glue stick. So please put in the comments if you like this idea, first of all. Number two, have you made any junk mail envelope pieces of ephemera for your junk journals? I would love to hear what you do, what you like, if you have any suggestions or ideas, if you have any requests of types of digital kits that you would be interested in, please let me know. And please like 
and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I love the encouragement and the, and the uh, support that I feel from the world out there. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, this is so pretty. Oh, I love that combination. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. I like that a lot. Once we ink up the edges, I think it's going to be really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do my little thumb hole. I think that's what they call it. And of course, this is all by, oh, I'm pushing the button instead of getting it in there. There we go. This is all by sight, like you're hoping your eye works because you can't really measure it. Okay. Oh, I think I got it in the middle. Yay. Okay. Let's ink this up. I'm gonna ink up all the edges and I'm using Distress Ink Ground Espresso. Uh, I love the darkness of it and it doesn't have orange like um, tea dye has some orange in it. Vintage Photo um, definitely has like a orangey tint. But I don't particularly like that's not my thing. So I started using Ground Espresso, which has been my favorite so far, because a lot of the graphics in the background of my papers have that dark brown, almost black, and I think this just really sets the tone. And I think I've talked about before, why do you do edging? For me, I do edging because actually it draws your eye inward. When you have the dark edging around your whole, um, piece that you're working on, it, like I said, it just, it kind of corrals your eye and draws your eye inward. So that's the inside, which we got. Let's do the outside. See how quick and easy these are? These are really fun, except I'm already at 20 minutes. Man, I thought this was going to be a short video. <laughs> okay. Well, my first mistake, but I'll edit that back out. Okay. That works. Very nice. Let's see. Did I do the edge? Yes. Okay. Okay, pretty, pretty, pretty. And then for my inside tag, I'm not sure. I want to use this color. I want to use Manila tags. I think that will work. Let me see what I have pulled out here to possibly use on the inside. I'm not sure about that, but I like, I think I might like this. This is from my Living Faith kit. You know, I like that. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I am going to trim that. So some of these tags that you'll see in my kits are real ornate. And if you don't want to put a um, some fabric or something through there, you know, you can always trim these down and make them whatever size you want. So that works. And let's just corner around those edges. And I think that'll work really well. That'll give it the softness. There. See how I just made that slightly different? And I like that for We Walk by Faith. Okay, so let's move that over there. Let's mark this up. I might not get the tag done on the video, but we can decorate the front. Okay, I like that. Now what I did over here was I used some lace and I did punch that tag. Let's see what I have sitting over here on my tabletop. Oh, that's pretty, that might work. Which side, Diane? No, oh, I guess that works. Actually, I like it kind of bunched together. Let's see, do we like that? Now this is going to be in my tall and skinny junk journal, so I don't want to get too, too fat. So one of the things I did on this, and I loved it, but I'm realizing it was probably not smart. I love this fiber, but it adds bulk. <laughs> So it's not going to, see, it doesn't really lay flat. It's kind of thick. So I want to be careful about that. But I like that. I like this. But do I want it on there like that? Or I just put it, no, I think it needs some kind of a backing. Let's see, I've got that piece. What else do I have over here? Oh, I've got this. Got this piece of lace. And would that go right there like that? Sometimes when you're doing this all by yourself, I can't hear you all saying, yes, Diane, that looks really good. I don't know. I'm not sure. 
So I think if I'm not sure, what I'm going to do is let's put this on there because I like that. I like that on there like that. I like how it softens it and just adds a little touch. So I think I like that. Okay, let's go with that. And then how are you gonna put this down? Okay, we are going to use my glitter glue and hopefully that enough of it will hold that down. We'll try that. Put that there. Let's see. I might put a little bit more over here. The paper will end up being stuck on there, so I think it'll be okay. Okay. And then we're going to lay that on there. I think that works. Some little white thing in there. Okay. Or we live by faith, not by sight. Which is so key. Oh, it might, have, might be better, Diane, if you made it straight. <laughs> oh, well, it's going to just have to be the way it is, isn't it? Okay. It's as straight as it's going to be. It's not perfect, that's for sure. Okay, I pulled out a couple of my little um, numbers and things like that because I think it needs something. And the other thing that I have on here is I made a um, made a tab to open it, which I think is good. So maybe I use some, let's see, should we use book paper? Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Okay, let's do it this way, Diane. This is a Stampin' Up! punch that I've had for forever. The whale tail punch. Yes, that works nice. Let's edge that both ways. Okay, let's put that there with the glue. I think you can still get that um, punch if you don't have one. There's lots of different tag punches out in the market. Like I said, I just have had that one for forever. Okay, that works. I don't think we need that. I don't know that I want something there, but I think I want to put, yeah, I want something. Oh, I like that there. That's big enough. Let's see. Let's audition a couple other pieces. I've got a butterfly. Oh, maybe we put that on here. That works. Or do I put it over here? Oh, I think it fits better there. Then I'd have them two on the same side. That wouldn't work, Diane. Okay, well, I guess it would. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So I just created this kit. This is all tags, and I've got this um, whole set of tags in three color waves. I've got blue, beige, no, four color waves, actually. So you get the same tags, you just get them in all different colors. Blue, pink, uh, a darker brown, and then a, a, a beige. And so it's really fun. You just print it. As I always tell everybody, make sure you print on matte photo paper. You'll be very happy with your digitals from anybody on matte photo paper. Just, it just, they look like photographs and things. Okay. Oh, that looks really, really nice. I like that. I think that's pretty. Okay, so we're gonna put the tag inside, but it's not done. I'll show you later once I figure out what the tag is going to be because I'm going to try and get one of my verses from my Living Faith kit. Well, let's see what I have. Maybe we could finish it up. Let's see. Oh, we just said faith comes from hearing. For we live by faith, not by sight. Faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. And that kind of coordinates. But then what would we put on here? So I feel like I should do some mixed media on the background. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna stick this in here for now because I really wanted to focus on the envelopes today. And I will do a quick little video on doing some mixed media on your tags. Mixed media for me is using stencils and inks and sprays and stuff like that. So this is our 
next copy. And see, they're not even the same size, but see, that's how you can just fold them totally different. This one, my original one is shorter, but it doesn't matter because everyone is unique and different. So that's how you make, this is from the closed legal envelope. And that's typically a new one. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I wanted to show you how I finished uh, the inside. So we made, made all that. We've got our one verse on there. And so what I'm thinking is that I like the manila tag as far as the color scheme. And I think that I wanna put another flower because there's no flowers or anything right here. So I've got two more flowers from uh, one of my kits. Let's see, do I like that one with the yellow? Or do I like that one with, I think I like that one better. So I think I'm gonna make this one simple. We are just going to, I don't even need to do that, dang it. Okay, let's move this away so I don't get stuff all over. I'm basically just going to glue this right on there. So let's put the glue all over the tag. Okay, and that glue stick is dead. So I'll get another one, but let's just I'll go ahead and use this glue. Let's get the edges. And as you watch me, you'll see what I do is I like to just lay it on there. And then I'm gonna trim around it. And I want most of the flower on it. So we're just gonna do it like that. And then I'm just gonna trim it. See how quick and easy that is when you wanna cover a whole tag. Try and remember to put the uh, link for where I buy all these manila tags at. Express tag, I've been buying there for over 10 years. Yes, you buy in bulk, but you get them for oh, pennies on the dollar. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Okay, then somebody might say, well, how do you know where your hole was, Diane? Well, it's right there, you just turn it over. Put the hole back in it. So we've got that. And now, when these tags come with that um, reinforcement around it, and so what I have done that will be hopefully I can grab it really quickly is I've, I've made some for myself. And of course, because I'm sitting here saying that, and I'm looking through my whole bin beside myself to see where are they. Well. That. I should show you a picture of this bin. I'll try and insert because it's huge. And I tried that. It's on a roll. It's a rolling cart, is what it is. There they are. Okay. I knew as soon as I turned around. So what I've done is I bought a box of these, probably at Walmart or something, or Staples, and then I sit there and I've inked them because they're all white, right? And then I just take some of my stamps and I stamp them. And then you can make them all different colors. You know, you can do, so there's darker brown. Here's a lighter brown. They just look so awesome. And it just gives you this extra little touch that really makes it yours. So we're going to put that right back on there. See how nice that looks now? That's really pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Then I thought about this verse. But look, it's too big. It's going to cover up all of our flower. So I just got this brand new punch. Let's see if I like it. Let me get a piece of paper real quick. So it makes this really unique top and it does three different sizes, one and a half, two and a half, and two inches. So that's probably like one and a half. So I'll just quickly show you how it works. So you set it in there, wherever you're going to set it. So this is about, yeah, I'm doing a two right now. Okay, put it all the way up to the top, push the bottom, and look how cool. Well, of course, it'd have to be straight, Diane, but see what it does on the top, which is kind of fun. Do I want that or not? I Then I would have to have two ties on here. Mm, yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Let's not do that. So what would be my next choice? My next choice would be to... Do the Diane routine of we are going to tear it. 
and the Romans is down too far. So what I'll do is we are going to tear it all around and then I'll add the quote at the, I mean the verse at the bottom. Yes, see, that's much better. It worked if you were gonna put it in as a tag into a pocket, but I didn't wanna do it that way. Oh, look, yes, see, I like that. And then we need the, which verse it is? It is Romans 10, 17. Now here's an example of why I love digitals, because if this was a piece of paper or a kit that you bought, and you used it, you wouldn't have it again to ever use. <laughs> so you have to keep buying more kits. Once you buy a digital kit, you can print this multiple times, use it over and over and over again. Okay, we're gonna put it on just like that. So yes, I'm happy with that. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, let's glue this down. And this, mail on um, junk mail envelope is going to be almost completed and we'll put the romans on the bottom so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of christ romans 10 17. of course if you hear the little bells singing it's because my dog lexi I have bells on my door, so she's still a puppy. So when she decides she wants to go out, I don't have to worry about what she's trying to say to me. She is saying, Mom, let me out. Of course, she was just out. <laughs> so, and I'm trying to make a video. So we're not going out right this second. <laughs> Come here, Lex. Come here, baby. Okay. Oh, see how pretty that is? Just look at that. That just looks so nice. Now we need to put some ribbon on the top of that. And I think I'm just going to use some beige ribbon that I have here. I think that looks nice. We're just gonna make it simple. Now, what's funny is if you would see my studio here, you can't see it, of course, but behind me, I have a wall of fibers. <laughs> I probably have 500 different colors and stuff. And so now that I'm doing more junk journaling, I made a rolling cart beside me that's full of all my laces and things like that. But all my ribbons and fibers are still over in that wall. I'm going, I can, I've said before, I'm gonna do it. I will do it. I'm gonna take a, I'll take you on a tour of my studio because I've had an art studio. Well, I've lived in this house now 11 years in Florida and I lived in Virginia and had an art studio for at least five, seven, no, probably 10 years. So for 20 years, I've had an art studio in my house. That's just like a requirement for me to live. Oh yes, it's so beautiful, look. I think that looks really, really good. I, I'm happy with that. So we started with the prototype, let's go back. Here was my prototype. And as I mentioned, I love these quote fun fibers, but they don't really stick down very well. And then here's what we made today in this session. For we live by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. And inside, another reminder that faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. And, it's, and this came from this plain white legal envelope. So there's our project for this session. I hope you have enjoyed it. And please like the video and hopefully you will uh, have already subscribed to my channel because I'm really having fun making lots of videos. I've been teaching for a very long time in person and now I'm teaching online and it's fun. I'm gonna pray us out. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. And the Lord be with you all, my friends. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for supporting and encouraging. Blessings.